The Naked Body, a top to bottom tour through a human being. This week, The Heart by Rohin Francis. Out of all the organs in your body, your heart is the only one responsible for its own blood supply as well as that of everything else. It has to keep working tirelessly your entire life. It's the first organ to form in the womb and most people these days can expect their heart to beat around 3 billion times without a single break. The heart is actually two pumps stuck together, the left and right side. The right side pumps blood to the lungs to get enriched with sweet, sweet oxygen, and the left side pumps it around the body. Each side of the heart is split into two chambers, an atrium at the top and a ventricle underneath. Let's start in the left atrium. This is where oxygen-rich blood from the lungs arrives, and from here the blood will pass through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. A nice, relaxed ventricle accepts the blood with open arms, but sometimes the atrium has to work hard to push blood into a stiffened ventricle. The stiffening might be due to high blood pressure, damage from a previous heart attack, or just too many birthdays. One of the most common heart conditions is caused by the left atrium losing its synchronised pumping action and instead fibrillating or quivering, allowing blood clots to form which can dislodge and travel elsewhere. If they get stuck in one of the blood vessels of the brain, this results in a stroke. It's thought that around a quarter of strokes are caused in this way. Our next chamber, the left ventricle, does the heart's heavy lifting. This thick, muscular chamber is responsible for pumping blood to every organ and the thousands of kilometres of blood vessels in your body. Far from being the simple pump often depicted, millions of years of evolution have created a supremely efficient and complex twisting squeeze. Blood is ejected at high pressure through the aortic valve. At rest, most blood goes to the brain, kidneys, and some to the muscle of the heart itself to provide it with oxygen and nutrients so it can keep on ticking. But the body can redistribute this as necessary. For example, more blood is sent to the muscles when exercising. Problems with the left ventricle account for most heart disease because it has such a crucial role. Far fewer people are dying of heart attacks than 20 years ago, but many have to live with damaged left ventricles, which means that the squeezing mechanism does not work so well, and they may struggle to do even mild exercise. After your organs and tissues have extracted oxygen from the blood, it flows back to the heart through your veins and enters the right atrium, passes through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. The right ventricle only pumps blood to the lungs, so it doesn't need to generate as high a pressure as on the left, but a damaged right ventricle can also cause major problems. If all is working as it should, your lungs then fill this blood with oxygen while removing carbon dioxide, ready to start the circuit all over again. For thousands of years, humans believed that the heart was the seat of our soul. While we now know that our consciousness and thought processes arise in the brain, surely there is no harder working organ than the heart.